Attention all you muggles out there. It's hard to believe, but it's been eight years since the last Harry Potter book. Well, since then, J.K. Rowling has focused on writing for adults, but will she ever write for kids again? Matt sat down with her for an exclusive interview to talk about that and the charity she's now devoting most of her time to. So you've been away from a camera basically for a couple of years, which leads me to believe you have been busy finishing the next installment of, <laughs> of Harry, Harry Potter. Potter. <laughs> okay. yeah. No, no. I, I, I haven't. But even as I answer that, I know that someone's cutting this on YouTube to make it look as though I gave you hope. Yeah. So I'm afraid I haven't been writing There's no hope. Harry Potter. Well, I, you know, I keep saying that I feel I wrapped Harry's story up and you got to know when to uh, stop shaking. My <laughs> kids would beg to differ. <laughs> Look, I've always, I have always said never say never. Well, not never say never. I've always said I'm not going to say I definitely won't because, because I don't see why I should say that. But I think Harry Potter 8, as in what happened next to Harry, Ron and Hermione, I, mm, I don't think that's going to happen. See, now I heard that answer and I thought there's hope. There's hope, <laughs> yeah. right. So you're not saying no. no exactly. <laughs> In all reality, J.K. Rowling most likely has been too busy to write an eighth book for the Harry Potter series, one of the best-selling book series in history. She's focusing her attention and fortune, a fortune once estimated to be worth a billion dollars, on helping the eight million children living in orphanages and institutions around the world through her charity, Lumos. Take me back to the trigger. What caused you to go in this direction? The trigger was a, a single photograph in a newspaper. I came across a photograph of a small boy who appeared to be caged. And he was screaming through what appeared to be wire. And the image was so disturbing, I wanted to turn the page. In fact, I half turned the page and then I felt very ashamed of myself and I thought no if it's as bad as it looks you have to do something about it. Happiness can be found in the darkest places if one only remembers to turn on the light. Lumos, let's remind people. Right, so Lumos, for those who don't know, right. is a spell I created in the Harry Potter books. It's a light bringing spell. Was that the mission statement? Was that to, to shed light on Very a dark place? Very much so, exactly right. So that it's twofold. First of all, bring the problem to light. We are literally trying to show the world what these institutions do to children. We know that it profoundly harms emotional, physical, psychological development. So we need to shine a light on the problem. But there's also the image of bringing light in darkness. So obviously we are looking to to help these children and uh, greatly improve their lives. And I know one of the goals of, of Lumos is to educate people dispel some myths, right. and also tell them about some things that are true. For example, we hear the term orphanages. Exactly. This is such an important point. Absolutely. Many of those kids are not orphans. 80 percent. 80 percent of the 8 million children living in institutions globally have either a living parent who would like to care for them or immediate families. Well, so let's stop it. Would like to care for mm -hmm. them, but yeah. at some point exactly. felt they that they ran were out helpless. of options. They ran out of options. So the single largest driver into institutions is poverty. So if you're literally faced with a situation where you're being told, well, you can, your child can starve, or we'll put it in the institution and it will be fed, what are you going to choose? You want your child to live, right? Is the goal, though, Joe, to eliminate all orphanages? Yes, that's, that's the goal, absolutely. But don't you have to be careful? Aren't there some institutions that are providing enormously important services for children in need? The evidence is that we can give better care within the family. We can have health visitors and social workers, um, you know, community workers, and these buildings themselves can be repurposed to provide the same care, but the child remains with the parent in the family. When you deal with information like this, yeah. and it weighs on you very heavily, I yeah, can see it I does. Do. I don't want to put you on the couch here. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to analyze you, but is it one of the reasons that when you were finished with Harry, you went to adult books? Because is it simply too hard the dichotomy of writing children's fantasies while you're dealing with these children's tragedies in parts of the world? No, it's not. I've never shied away in my writing for children or in my writing for adults with dealing with the darker side of life. I definitely will write for children again because I love writing for kids, so that's, that will definitely happen. And that will sit comfortably alongside this work, and maybe I'll get to read read that new work to some of these children, you know. Is it fair to say that you would be 
as proud, if not more proud, to have this as a major part of your legacy oh, as you would no question. with what you've done no question. with children's literature? No, no question at all. I mean, it's real, living, breathing children. You know, that's the thing I keep going back to, Matt. This is a solvable problem. So many problems in the world. It's kind of open-ended. We hope we'll do some good. We hope we'll find the cure. We hope we'll find the solution. We know what the solution is here. We can make this happen. That's not to say it's easy, but if the will is there, globally we can change this. You just have to love oh, someone with wow. that much influence and that big a megaphone using it for such good. Absolutely. Yeah. And the story about her almost turning the page yeah. but then yeah. saying and no, how back. many of us have had that yes. experience. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Very inspiring. By the way, she mm. was here in New York for the U.S. launch of Lumos and Matt's going to have a lot more of this exclusive uh, interview on Monday. Rowling's going to open up about the Harry Potter character she recently had a disturbing dream about mm. and the lessons that she has learned from failure. Didn't sound like we were getting another book out of her. Really? That's what, what I, I took about? away. We're getting a book. Yeah. You got a book? Okay. <laughs> the adult series has done well for her. So. Fascinating. More of that on Monday with Matt. And